Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, and I am going to read the remote learning plan for today. So with ELA, if, which you should be spending about one hour on, we are going to begin our day with doing your foundations drill sounds. So watch this link with Miss Braden doing the drill sounds warm up. Um, today there is class time. Miss Co with Mrs. Leary has class at 11:30. Miss Braden with Miss Gusha at 12, and Miss Adorno with Miss McHugh at 11. And see your class dojo for the links. Your mini lesson today is on comparing and contrasting. Click on this link here for your mini lesson. Your username and password is right there, CoM and Goddard56. After watching, take the easy quiz that follows. For independent reading, you're going to log into Epic and read for 30 minutes, and here are all of your class codes. Your read aloud, click on this link here. Who would win, Tyrannosaurus Rex or versus Velociraptor? And in writing, after reading, answer these questions. One, what are some differences between a Tyrannosaurus rex and a Velociraptor? Two, what are some similarities between both am animals? Three, who would win in a fight? Explain why they would win. Here are some sentence frames to get you started. One, a Tyrannosaurus rex is different from a Velociraptor because blank. Two, a Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor are the same because blank. Three, a blank would win because blank. Or try this for Mrs. Gusha or Miss McHugh's ESL students. Click on here for some ESL activities. In math, which you should also be doing for about one hour, first you're going to log into extra math and practice for 20 minutes. Here is your word problem of the day. Gus the dog walked 63 feet on Monday and 24 feet on Tuesday. How many feet did Gus walk on both days? Or try this. Gus the dog has four paws. Each paw print is two inches long. What is the length of all four paw prints? Blank plus blank plus blank plus blank equals blank inches. Gus's paw prints are blank inches long. Here's your mini lesson. It's on comparing units of measurements. So click on this link here for your mini lesson. Independent practice, click on this link for your worksheet. And if you need any additional support, click on this green link here. On to science. We're continuing our study of the life cycle of a plant. Click on this brain pop link right here for a video to watch. Here is a visual on the life cycle of a plant. Check that out. Here are some questions. One, what do plants need to grow? Two, how is the plant life cycle similar and different to the life cycle of a frog? Three, what does a plant start as before it becomes a plant? And here are some sentence frames to get you started. One, plants need blank, blank, and blank. Two, plants and frogs are the same because they both need blank. Plants and frogs are different because blank. Three, blank grows into a plant. Try this. If you have a seed at home, put it in a small pot with soil and see if it grows. On to social studies. Today we're going to learn about involuntary migration. Not everyone leaves their home country because they choose to. Some people might immigrate to different countries because of things like war, lack of food, loss of a job, bad treatment, or natural disasters like a hurricane or flooding. Try this, watch Vandi's immigration story. Click on this link here. And then afterwards, think about these questions. What did you learn about Vandi's story? Why did he come to America? Did he have a choice? Sometimes we have choices in life and sometimes we don't. Think about some of the choices you have or don't have in your life. 
For example, you might not choose to go to school, but it is important to learn and have an education. You might not choose to get a vaccine, a shot, at the doctor, but it helps keep you healthy. Sometimes people don't choose to immigrate to different places, but they need to because it is what is best for them. Now try this. Sort the reasons why people immigrate. Is it a choice or not a choice? So you can make a T-chart like this. And here are the reasons people might move. Unsafe neighborhood, better job, lack of food, flooding, education, war, safety. So you're going to put these things into the T-chart. On one side, you'll put choice. And on the other side, you put not a choice and you take these reasons and you say, is so an unsafe neighborhood, if you live in an unsafe neighborhood and you immigrate because of that, is that a choice you have or not a choice? Hmm. Okay. We have gone over the math enrichment for the week. So do that today if you haven't had a chance to do that. And there's a couple of videos to watch about length and measurement. Actually, it's worksheets to do on length and measurement. Um, I read the art projects from Miss Coyle. If you haven't done one yet, try one and send her a picture of it. I've gone over the music activity for the week. Um, physical activity for the week. To, um, click on this link for a video. And um, the health activity for the week. Um, I'm going to read Miss Lavoie's health activity. It's all about fire safety. Fires can be scary and happen quickly. We need to know what to do and not do in an emergency. At school, we practice fire drills once a month to prepare us for a fire at school. But what about at home? You need to have a fire safety plan at home, too. It's a good idea to talk about the plan with your family and then practice it. Talking about it can make things less scary. Some things to remember during a fire emergency are don't open the door if you see smoke coming in, stay low to the ground, yell for help, and stop, drop, and roll if your clothes catch on fire. Stop what you're doing, drop to the ground, roll on the ground until the fire stops. Here is an article for you to read. You can click on that link there. After you read the article, think about these questions. One, do you know what to do if there's a fire in your house? Two, what is a smoke detector? How does it keep you safe? Three, what are some rules to remember during a fire? And here are some visuals here on stop, drop, and roll. Try this. Pretend you're asleep and a fire alarm suddenly goes off. Draw a picture of yourself crawling on the floor, staying low to avoid the smoke. So that's Miss Lavoie's health activity. If you do that, um, share your work with her. Her um, email is in, it's right up here. Miss Lavoie's um, email is in here. And um, if you don't, if you can't find it, um, just share your work with your teacher and she will get it to Miss Lavoie. There's also mindfulness activities that you can do. So lots of ways for you to stay learning today. Have a wonderful day.